Hi Kipsters, it's Miss Peters and today I'm going to read you a story called I Live in Tokyo, which is written and illustrated by Mari Takabayashi. I live in the city of Tokyo in Japan. The area of the city with many restaurants and shops is called Ginza. The super gigantic buildings around Shinjuku, Tokyo and Akihabara is the electronic shopping district. This is the Royal Palace. Japan is an Asian country on a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean. Tokyo is the capital. My grandparents live in Kobe. My name is Mimiko. I am seven years old. Kenta is my little brother and he is five. We live with our parents in downtown Tokyo in a small house on a street with many neighbors. Akimas, omadetu gozaimas. Happy New Year. I love Oshogatsu, the New Year celebration. I can eat all the tasty food I want. My parents don't ask me if I did my homework. After brunch, we go to the, sh the Shinto shrine for the first time of the year. My mother is a master of Shodo, or calligraphy. It is said that January 2nd is perfect for writing, so we spread newspaper all over the tatami room to protect the mats from ink, I write yume, which means dream. Shoto makes me feel calm. And here you can see lots of the different things that they have in their celebration of the new year in Japan. They have osecho ryori, sweet and salty side dishes. They have otoshi dama, new year's money given to children. Ozoni, soup made with sweet rice, cake and vegetables. Ningajo. New Year's greeting cards. And over the here they have Eto, the Japanese zodiac based on the 12 animals, Kagami Mochi, specially decorated cakes, and Hagoita, the wooden racket for Japanese badminton. The day before the first day of spring, February, February 3rd, is called Setsubun. We pretend to drive out misfortune by throwing handfuls of dried soybeans to the demon called Oni. My father puts on the Oni mask and Kenta and I shout, out with the ogre and in with the happiness. My father is a very funny Oni. On Valentine's Day, girls give chocolates to boys. I buy my many chocolates and give them to my teacher, my father, and the boys that I know. This year, my father gets more chocolates than my brother and he looks really happy. And you can see here Mimiko is giving chocolates to her classmate and you can give chocolates from a secretary to a boss, from a mom to dad, from a business person to her client. This is Mimiko giving one to her dad, to the gymnastics teacher, from mommy to Kenta, from Kenta's friend to Kenta, from a girlfriend to a boyfriend. On March 3rd, we have a festival called Hinamatsuri the Dolls Festival. And then during the Dolls Festival, you pray for a young girl's growth and happiness. My grandparents gave me a Hina Niño set when I was born. And each year, my mother decorated the dolls a few weeks before the day. This year, we visit my grandparents' house for dinner. We eat terashi sushi and clam soup. We do this every year. My grandmother's homemade sushi is the best. It's a special night. And here you can see the other things that they eat. They, this is the chirashi sushi, rice with vegetables or fish, suimono, clam soup, amazaki, a special drink for children, and hina arare, sweet rice crackers. I start second grade this April. My new teacher, Yamada Sensei, is kind. Kenta, a kindergartner, is in school for the first time. I wear a special hat and Kenta wears a cute uniform. Kenta brings a bento box for lunch, but I eat in the cafeteria. And here you can see this is Kenta getting ready for school. And this is Mimiko and she has a bag for her gym uniform. A randoseru, a red leather knapsack for books. And this is her school lunch. And then Kenta's bento box from home. And these are her notebooks and textbooks. In class, we studied Japanese. Kanji are 
Chinese characters based on pictures that are used in Japanese writing. There are hundreds of characters to learn, and the teacher tests us every day. Sometimes it's tough. The kanji in Kenta's name means healthy and big. The kanji in Mimiko means beautiful. And here are some of the different kanji characters. May 5th is Tango no Seku, Boys Festival, and a day honoring little boys. We fly carp streamers in our garden and display samurai warrior dolls in our living room. And these are Mimiko's top 10 favorite meals. Number one is curry rice. Number two is tempura, deep fried vegetables and shrimp. Number three is omelet rice. Number four is hamburger. Number five is yakitori which is grilled chicken on skewers. Number six is yakizakana, grilled fish. Number seven is odin, fish cake stew. Number eight is nimono, simmered vegetables. Number nine is katsudon, pork cutlet bowl. And number 10 is sukiyaki, which is beef and vegetable dish. My grandmother is a master of sado the tea ceremony. She has a tea ceremony room in her house next to a beautiful Japanese garden. My family is invited to the tea ceremony several times a year. My grandmother says this is a precious time for her because she can relax, but the long ceremony gets boring and my feet fall asleep. We try hard not to gobble up the fancy and delicious wagashi cakes. The temple in our neighborhood has a special fair, or inichi, in July. Vendors come to the temple with cotton candy, fried noodles, barbecued corn, balloons, and masks. We fish for goldfish and win prizes. It's so much fun. At the Bon Festival, there is an area where everyone dances, old and young. Even Kenta and I start dancing when we hear the Bon Odori dance music. In August, we visit my grandparents in the country. We take the Shinkansen, the bullet train, one of the fastest trains in the world. I pray for hours, play for hours with our cousins, fishing, climbing trees, finding bugs. One night, we have fireworks and even my grandmother comes outside to watch. A special day is my cousin Michiko's wedding, which was planned for a lucky day on the Japanese calendar. She wears a traditional kimono and then changes into a wedding dress. She is so beautiful. Every day after school, I walk home with my friend Yoko-chan because we are neighbors. She often comes to my house with me. We play with dolls, do origami, or watch TV. On a nice day in October, my school has a field day called Uno Dakai. The classes split up into teams and compete against each other. This year, our class is on the red team. I'm in the obstacle race, and I come in second. I also join the tug of war. November 15th is Shichigo-san. Boys who are three and five years old and girls who are three and seven put on kimonos and go to the shrine to pray for children's growth. The kimono makes me feel like a princess, but after a while, it's uncomfortable. I can't run and the obi around my waist starts to itch. And over here it says how to wear a kimono. And you can see her wrapping the kimono around her body and she ties it at the waist. And this is the obi that was around her waist that was making her uncomfortable and starting to itch. Toji is the first day of winter around December 22nd. We take a bath with yuzu oranges. The yuzu bath makes our bodies warm and soft. Every year, my mother bakes a Christmas cake and we decorate a Christmas tree. Even though we don't celebrate the holiday, it is still a fun tradition. On New Year's Eve, the hair salons are crowded with women who will wear a kimono the next day. 
Omisoka New Year's Eve is cleanup day. Then my mother lets us stay up to watch TV while she cooks special noodles at midnight. After we hear Joya no Kane, the New Year's Eve bells, we go to bed. It has been a wonderful year. All right, Kipsters, that's the end of I Live in Tokyo. I hope you really enjoyed learning about what it's like to live in Tokyo. And I hope you watch some more of me and Miss Pakbas's read-alouds to celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Bye, Kipsters.